What's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about Capture One 21.1, which is a free update to all Capture One 21 users. In this update, you're gonna get quite some new nice features. For example, style brushes, an improved import viewer, additional pro standard camera profiles, and Leica Live View, as well as improved methods to adjust your brushes, like linking brush sizes. And you can now increase the viewer to 1600% zoom, which is great for all of you working on a high resolution display, just like the iMac with the 5K display. Great addition. So let's talk about all these features in a little more detail. And before we do that, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, bell notification. And if you're looking for a Capture 121 license, make sure to check out the description on how to get 10% discount. Now let's talk about style brushes. Now let's take a portrait, for example, and Whenever you edit a portrait, you might want to enhance the eyes or you want to whiten the teeth. And the style brushes help you with these repeating tasks. Now you might say this can already be achieved with a layer and a style. Now that's right, but the style brushes help you increase your editing speed in that regard. So you select the brush that you want to apply and Capture 120 1.1 gives you already quite some interesting style brushes to work with. And Capture One will automatically create the new layer and the settings that you need and select the brush tool automatically. So you can now brush this style, these adjustments into your image. And it might sound like not a big deal, just like the speed edit, it sounds like not a big deal, but it really helps you improve your editing workflow. So I really like this feature and I have already played with it a lot in the latest Capture One beta version. Second improvement is the import viewer. So you can now select single images in the import dialog, see them in a big viewer window, so not just the thumbnail. And it helps you decide whether you really want to import that image or not. So great improvement there for your importing process. Let's continue. I have already told you about this viewer zoom. 1600% is now the maximum and that's really great for retouching fine details on a high resolution display. The Keystone tool for correcting perspective has also been improved because, let's be honest, on some images, especially on bright images, you were not really able to see the tool at all. So they improved the visibility of the tool. Still, there is no automatic upright function like you might have been using on Lightroom, but maybe that will come sooner or later. I don't know, but they improved the visibility and that's a good first step, right? Um, another thing that we really need to talk about is the new methods of linking brush settings. So you can now link a brush to the eraser. So they both share the same properties and you don't have to adjust both of them uh, like separately and you can also link settings to a layer so whenever you select another layer you get the settings that you have used for this layer in the past so great thing you can select both linking methods at once or just one of them or none of them so really great addition if you need to edit and work with masks a lot Next up, we have new camera, no, pro standard camera profiles. So a lot of Canon cameras have been added, like the 1DX, the 5DS, the EOS R, 
and so on. A lot of Nikon cameras have also been added, like the D5, D5000, uh, D500, D700, and so on. Make sure to check the release notes for the full list. <sighs> no Fuji cameras yet. Shame on you, Capture One. I hope they will add Fuji cameras pretty soon, but I don't know. And for those of you with a Leica camera, you can now use Live View with your Leica in Capture One. So that's pretty much all there is to talk about regarding updates in Capture One 21.1. I hope you like these new features. You can download the Capture One trial for free. The link is in the video description. For all those of you that already have Capture One 21, you can get the update to Capture One 21.1 for free. And if you still don't have a license, make sure to check the video description on how to get 10% discount on your license. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.